Hey guys and gals, all you Android and tech enthusiasts, I'm Mr. Rockstar. Welcome to Android Tech Heroes. Now guys, I've been away for about three months now, but only because I'm trying to get the best HD camera, I'm trying to get the best software, um, the best mics, to have the best audio. I'm trying to uh, step things up a bit for you guys, so that way you guys are going to have the best um, videos to watch and um, and the best quality so um, I've been gone for a little while but I'm gonna go ahead and release a, a couple more videos in the meantime until I can get this stuff um, kind of worked out and the dinks uh, kicked in so anyways this is a quick tutorial on how to add Adobe Flash Player to your Android device now this is fairly simple guys so um, just bear with me um, Adobe Flash Player uh, Adobe's has stopped um, supporting devices uh, with 4.0 or higher. Now that's ice cream sandwich and jelly bean. I'm not exactly sure why, but um, some things that I've researched and read is basically they want to give HTML5 a little um, room to uh, grow on devices as well as Chrome by Google. Um, they want to give them a chance to thrive on um, devices before they can actually bring it back. Now I don't know if they're going to actually bring Adobe back on devices, but I think it's great to have. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it back fairly simple. You need your cell phone or a computer. If you are going to use a computer, it's only for downloading purposes only um, because you're still going to have to transfer that APK, uh, which is short for app, to your cell phone so um, or your smartphone. Uh, so you're really going to need it anyway. So uh, you want to go to your settings. Now this is AT&T Galaxy Note 2, the i317. So um, mine will be in security setting. Um, you're looking for unknown sources. It's in every device but you will search for it. You want to make sure it's checked and if it's not checked, go ahead and check it. Um, now this basically just um, allows third party apps to be downloaded directly to your phone other than, other than from Google Play, um, places like uh, Amazon App Store and uh, the internet directly. But um, want to go ahead and make sure it's checked. You'll get a message that pops up saying that you're responsible for any damage to your device caused by malware and viruses. But you don't have to worry about that because we're getting the app directly from its source, from Adobe.com. And, um, and saying that I'll run it through my virus program. So that way you're able to see what kind of um, malware would be on it, which is nothing. So um, the next step is after that's checked, you want to go to your stock browser. Adobe Flash Player works on um, many browsers. Um, it works on Dolphin HD. It works on Dolphin Mini. It does not work on Chrome um, by Google, but it does also work on Opera. So um, you can download it using Chrome, but it will not work on Chrome. Okay, so I do just use a stock browser, but you want to type in what I have right here archived flash player versions in the um, search browser and it will bring up this it's the first thing that pops up you will click on it and it will take you to adobe.com you will scroll to the bottom I believe it should be somewhere right here let's see if I can find it there we go and you're looking for um, Flash Player for Android 4.0 Archives. Um, it's the first thing that you'll click on. Um, it's Oh, it's already updated. So, um, well, and, and it's saying that Adobe Flash Player is great about keeping their stuff updated. They're very, very, very on the target. I mean, I, I mean, seriously, guys, uh, every month or so, they have a new version come out. So um, after you download your Flash Player, every month or so, I would come and um, I'll, I'll put the description in uh, the video below. And um, you can come and just click on uh, click on the description. It'll take you to adobe.com. And I will make sure that um, I would make sure that you have the updated version uh, because they, they're always updating it. But you will click on um, you will click on the first one. It will say starting download and it will be in your queue. It'll take a couple of minutes depending on your device. Um, and this does work for rooted and non-rooted devices. So you do not have to be rooted to, um, to get the Flash Player. And also it does work on um, versions such as Honeycomb and Gingerbread, but those you're able to usually search them in the market. Um, I'll run it through my um, virus scanner for you. You wanna just um, click install. After it installs, the virus program should come through and it's scanning new software. Doo, doo, doo. And it, it didn't catch anything, guys, and it won't. Um, after your application is installed, you just hit done. And that is how you get Flash Player on your smartphone. It's very simple, um, very, very simple. Um, I, I recommend you having it, guys. 
I'm going to show you that it does work. Um, if you did not have Flash Player on your phone, when you go to this site, um, it, it would say Adobe Flash Player needed. Um, you would basically just go, just try F-L-I-X-P-R-E-S-S, -S, FlixPress.com. Once you go there, you will just click on any one of these videos. It's the it's the, what pops up first, and if it plays, then you got Flash Player on your phone. If it doesn't, then it would say you need the, the latest updated version of Flash Player. And as you can tell, it plays, so we have Flash Player. And uh, that's it, guys. If this video helped you in any way, um, or if you liked it, please hit the, the like button. I'm going to be having more videos come out. I promise you guys that. Um, I've been kind of slacking lately just because I'm trying to get the best picture and stuff. So um, uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm not just having um, the just uh, stuff on the Note 2 or just the Note 1 as I, I've, as I have only in my um, video queue. But I'm going to have uh, much more videos coming out on all kinds of different things and we're actually going to try to start a vlog so um if you're wondering what kind of stuff i have on my phone this right here is um an app called zooper widget pro now that's z-o-o-p-e-r widget pro and you can find it in the market um great stuff it does cost like a dollar 99 i would get it highly recommend it it comes with all kinds of cool uh date apps and um, time apps if you're looking, if you're wondering about what kind of stuff I have like this, um, I'll have a review on it later. It's the it's TSF Shell. Now that does cost a hef, hefty uh, $14.99, so um, it is a little bit more expensive. But I, I do have a way that you can get it for free, and I'll have um, a video on that coming out as well. But I do recommend um, after you do try the free app that you still try to go and um, uh, give... Uh, give donations to the devs because they did great support. So um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is Mr. Rockstar with Android Tech Heroes, and uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.